The scary thing about turning 65 in Singapore at retirement age is that you're going to realise that banks and financial institutions are not willing to loan you money anymore to do the things that you want to do. So assuming you want to renovate your house or you want to buy a new house or you want to buy a car, everything's got to be paid in cash because they're not going to be willing to loan money to a retired person whose earning ability goes down. So as much as CPF takes care of the elderly people by giving them a monthly payout based on the retirement retirement amount that they have in their CPF account, not having a lump sum on hand and not being able to take a loan will limit your options when you hit retirement age. So this is how real estate can help you plan for your retirement. Whatever property that you're buying today, you got to make sure at the point of time when you retire, it's going to be worth way a lot more than what you have paid initially. So that at the point of time, you could sell that property, downsize to a much cheaper property and use the remaining money for retirement. So whatever monthly payout that you're getting from CPF or your insurance policies, that acts as money to help you to sustain your lifestyle. But it is important for you to keep that lump sum on hand after selling your property at a profit because at the point of time, you do not want to be limited by your options just because you are not able to take a loan.